My name is Johanna Kinevich, and I'm Head of Outreach and Engagement at the Institute of Physics. Well, I mean, I could say that the Institute of Physics is a professional society for physicists, but alongside seeing physics as something that you can study and have a successful career in, we see it as part of our culture and something that can be seen through many different lenses, including art. This project started with the Institute of Physics um, wanting to expand its Physics and Arts in Conversation series, which was initiated by uh, IOP fellow and physics writers Graham Farmelo. And they'd already done projects with the Royal Opera House and the Royal Shakespeare Company. And they approached me as a contemporary art curator to build a relationship with the visual arts organisation that they could then continue this series into. Light and Dark Matters is a collaboration developed between the Institute of Physics and Tate Modern in celebration of the International Year of Light, in which we bring artists and scientists together to explore light, dark and dark matter. My name is Marianne Mulvey and I'm Curator of Public Programmes at Tate Modern. Light and dark are concepts that many contemporary artists are working with today. They are asking the big questions about perception, about the politics of light, who has access to it, how are we using it, what is the cost to our world, and they're also using light and dark to think about our place within the universe. At sunrise, astronomer Lucy Green brought a group of about 20 people for a walk along the south bank to explore the activity of our nearest star, the sun, and see London waking up. Our big discovery was that the sun is this dynamic, violent object and that has a real impact on us, even though you might not appreciate it. My name's Lucy Green and I'm a space scientist working at UCL. The sun isn't just a scientific object, it's also been a source of inspiration for art for centuries. The sun is there in our myths and legends, but also in our literature and in particular Shakespeare writes a lot about the sun. Artists Collective, The Drawing Shed, are pioneering a new technology at Tate Modern today, invisible ink typewriters, in which they're inviting members of the public to come record their thoughts and their experiences of the things that we keep in the dark. Part of what we're doing is to look at the hiddenness of some of the things which we want to explore as artists, which are around issues of democratic access to light. And we use black light in order to explore those things as a metaphor. The first session we brought together the mathematical physicist Robert Digraph, the artist Lillian Lin, and the artist and theorist Sean Cubitt in a conversation called The Power of Light, where they discussed what compels artists and scientists alike to make advancements and discoveries with this energy. Human beings just want to know. They want to know what, you know, what this is, what they are, who they are. Children are all scientists, after all. They're always curious, they're always learning. For the conversation, Are We Darkened by Light? We brought together the astronomer Marit Kukula, artist Katie Patterson, cosmologist Catherine Haymans, and the architect Asif Khan. As an astronomer, I think we really have lost touch with the stars and with the night sky. More than half the world's population live in cities and urban areas now, and of course with the street lights, which we need to see our way around at, at night, it does block out the stars. That's part of our natural heritage. It's something that for thousands of years people took for granted uh, and now we're completely blind to it. For Light Dark Capture, we invited a really influential Instagram photographer called Oliver Lang to invite Instagrammers across the globe to share their images of transformational light. Uh, in addition to that, we've got a couple of light sources which we're playing with because Photography is about reacting to light, so one of them is a laser. So we're using a laser and a droplet of water to spread the laser uh, light uh, and actually project the contents of that droplet of water, which is a whole lot of microbes we've put in there. Harnessing light is a conversation between the artists Roger Hyens, 
the collective flow motion, Harold Haas and Kishan Dolakia, chaired by Sean Cubitt. So in the future, wireless data communication or wireless data will be served by all the rights around us. At the end of the day, artist Susan Shipley takes a group of people for a walk along the South Bank, exploring the materiality of light and the politics of light. I can sort of meld a, um, a kind of quasi-artist talk or reflections on sun and the sort of materiality of sunlight which has been important in my practice and see if we can sort of sync that up, if you will, with a kind of walk. I feel like Light and Dark Matters has sparked off a series of conversations between artists and physicists and really highlighting the ways in which art can interrogate physics from a slightly different perspective. And this is something that I'm hoping that we can build on in the future.